So I'm redoing everything because I started this, found some old footage, and I wanted to use it, so I'm going to cut it up instead of doing one solid video. But this first video here, the audio from it is only what I could hope from the radio, but I soon found out that it was only possible to get audio like that if you played directly from YouTube. So this is about insane audio. The radio, horrible. I'm not going to get into specifics on the radio on this video, I may on the next video or if anyone wants it, but I'm just going to get into the issues I've had with the company. So the first radio that I bought failed. When I returned it, they told me that we've never had this happen, but we'll replace it, we'll get you sorted out. So it took about two weeks probably, then got my next one just before I came home for summer for college. and. Lo and behold, on the way home, I'm in Alaska now, I was driving to New York, in about the Montana border. Second radio failed, not once, but twice. And I'll, I'll get into that. So, the first failure on the first radio. Bluetooth did not work. It worked. So, you couldn't make phone calls and have it audible in the least. You could not hear the other person talking and they could not hear you. So they told me that the Bluetooth module was just broken. So we got that fixed and replaced onto radio two. So Bluetooth on this radio was slightly better than the previous, but still nowhere near usable. But about, I don't know how many hundreds of maybe thousand miles in, maybe around 1500 to 2000 miles in, the radio would not play Bluetooth or off the SD card anymore. It, You could pull it up, but no audio would come out. The only thing we could play through was the FM radio. And probably a day later, that froze entirely. So the radio didn't work. You could not use anything on the radio. There was no audio from it. You could press buttons and it would make beeping sounds like it's working. Nothing would work. So... When I got back home, I talked to them about it. They told me, oh, you must not have installed it right. Let's walk you through it. Did everything they asked me to do, tried everything, and they pretty much told me I'm incompetent and can't install a radio. So we talked some more. We got to the point where they finally let me return the radio. I sent it FedEx tracked, thankfully. Tracked and insured, it got there, and they still didn't refund my money. It took them two weeks to pretty much tell me they weren't interested in refunding me. They could send me a new radio, but they didn't want to refund it. So I took matters into my own hands and went to my credit card company who got my money back. I thought that was the end of it. Yeah, I could have only hoped. Well, about two, three weeks later, my credit card statement comes in and it shows that I was charged by them again. Oh boy. So I quickly call my credit card company and ask, why did I get charged again? And they pretty much told me that According to the company, I never returned the radio. Huh. Well, I had to dig, and I mean dig, to find these emails because it's it's my personal email account. I get hundreds of spam, whatever. But every single time they had contacted me, they opened a new email. They didn't continue the same email. They sent a new one. So after digging through probably... 50, 60 emails, I finally found the picture of the receipt with the tracking number, pulled the tracking number off, sent that into my credit card company, sent emails saying that they didn't want to refund me, blah, 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 and I finally got my money back. But that's not where this ends. It still gets worse. So at this point, you might have assumed, oh, well, that's that. I got my money back. We're good. No, they had to continue to pester me. I got a call about two days after I finally got my money back. And they pretty much told me that I was a conniving little shit. And so on and so forth, whatever. I didn't really give a shit. I still don't. But they had to go and try to cut, cut me down further than they needed to. It should have just been left at the point where, yep, their radio's a junk radio. I don't want to work with them. And go our both ways. But nope, they tried to have, they really tried to ruffle my feathers and get me mad. They didn't work. So, where this brings me, if you guys want more on this, I can get into what actually went wrong with the radio 
and all the things that are wrong with this radio in another video. I'll be more than willing to do that. But that was my experience in about four months of trying to work with Insane Audio. If the customer service is like that, now imagine what the radio is like.